Welcome to our video tutorial. In this video, we show you how to use the construction features in Pecan Planner 7 by designing your own tabletop with recesses for electrical installations. First, navigate to the Start tab, select a rectangle from the drawing elements and draw a rectangle in the dimensions of a tabletop. After you have created the drawing element, you can continue editing it. Clicking on one of the lines of the drawn rectangle, the entire object is selected. In order to edit the rectangle in its shape, there are two possibilities. You can either click on the hammer icon or you double click the object with the left mouse button. In the current Pecan Planner version, triangular interactors for rounding corners are now available. Please note that you have to create an unfilled drawing element for this operation. Subsequent marking of a pre-filled form as unfilled does not lead to this result. In this example, the corners of the tabletop should be rounded. If you move the mouse over a corner, the triangular interactor appears. After clicking on it, you can either round the corner with the mouse or enter a specific value for the corner radius and press enter. Once the radius of one of the corners has been set, it can be applied to the other corners. To do this, simply move the mouse over the next corner and click on the arrow-shaped interactor. If you want to define a new radius for a corner, deselect the drawing element and select it again. You can now enter a new radius. Many office desks are equipped with a variety of additives such as cable ducts or embedded sockets or network sockets. These technical devices should be considered in the construction of the table. To do this, select another rectangle from the drawing elements and place it within the tabletop in the correct size. With the Pecan Planner 7.1, you can even extrude encapsulated 2D shapes. All relevant forms must be selected and extruded simultaneously. With this specific tool, close two-dimensional shapes can be converted into three-dimensional bodies. After you have selected all relevant forms, navigate to the Edit tab and select the Extrude tool. When the mouse icon has changed to the horizontal line with the arrow pointing upwards, click on one of the lines of the selected forms. Then move the mouse down or enter a value. You can complete the extrusion by clicking on the left mouse button or by pressing Enter. Put a constructed tabletop on table legs and place the socket in the recess provided. In the Material Editor, you can choose a wood texture for the tabletop. For the table legs, you can assign a metal as material. Now you have constructed your own table. Take advantage of the construction tools to create your individual 2D and 3D objects. Thank you for your attention.